Today I'm going to be showing you guys the MP5 class. This thing is an absolute beast, all right? So if you guys haven't checked out this gun yet, you've got to get on it in Black Ops Cold War. Let's jump straight into the video. So the first thing we are going to do is look at the attachments we have here on the MP5. This is what I am currently rocking in multiplayer, and it is absolutely destroying. As you saw from the clips at the beginning there, that's just a couple of games I had this afternoon, and it is insane, guys. It is crazy. This gun is mad. So the barrel I've got on at the moment, which is the reinforced 9.5-inch heavy barrel, Bullet velocity increase, so TTK is down, and the effective damage range of the gun, which is insane for an SMG, basically covers any 6v6 maps entirely um, with this gun. It's just extremely long distances where you're going to have a few extra um, shots on there to make sure you get that kill. But other than that, it is an absolutely beast of a weapon, and you're not going to miss out on any kills with this attachment on it. Slightly less aim, walking movement speed, but you're going to be jumping around those corners. You're going to be in the fight, looking to get that ADS quickly, and that's what we want to do. So moving on to the next attachment, we've got the underbarrel for grip just control some of that recoil there for the horizontal uh, vertical is not too bad to control but the horizontal recoil there is a little bit negated by this foregrip really really good attachment really strong so for the magazine i'm currently rocking the 40 round speed mag once so i unlock it i will be using the 50 round salvo mag instead and the only slight negation on there is the 25 percent ads speed time but with this gun you're going to be snapping onto people you're going to be getting in there close and so that's not going to matter too much particularly when you pair it with a handle now currently we're using the field tape again this is absolutely shredding because of the flinch resistance but if you want to get the SASR jungle grip tape on there which gives you a little bit of increased speed to that ADS time as well the sprint to fire time you can negate with the stock which we're doing anyway but then it's just going to basically balance out if you do put this jungle grip on I'm currently using the field tape though because this is, thing is a beast you lock on somebody and you laser them because the flinch resistance is super super powerful and then the stock currently which we're using is the collapse stock. So collapse stock gives us a plus 10% sprint to fire time on there. When I unlock the raider stock again, I'll be rocking the ra raider stock there because it's sprint to fire time up 30% and in walking movement speed, which is nice to have. Does minus 30% hip fire accuracy, but the MP5 is a beast of a gun and has a decent, decent hip fire anyway. So you are not going to mind about having that slight little bit less. As you saw from the clips at the beginning, I haven't got a laser on at the moment or anything, and it is absolutely shredding. The class I'm rocking with the MP5 currently I've got the choir on there again maybe change it out to the gallo at the moment I'm very drawn between the two but I think the gallo once you get the attachments on it is actually going to be better because there's an attachment because it plus 81% damage guys which is insane so you'll probably be able to one shot with that and shotguns are OP at the moment if you don't want to be uh, a shotgun person then pistols I would probably recommend Diamate um, really really good burst pistol super quick time to kill on that so definitely try that out and then rocking the stim shot the c4 and the field might feel like basically it's just a little portable radar so why not have a mini uav following you around when you can it's insane plus it gets you the camos which is always good um, and then i've got perk greed on the bottom there we've got flat jacket and tack mask we've got uh, assassin and scavenger and i've got ninja and gun hub this basically allows me to move fast and quietly whilst also being able to shoot quick and come up to gunfight steady with the gun ho i've got a scavenger so i don't run out of ammo when i'm on the kill streaks and assassin for those extra points there which is nice and i've got the flat jacket just for those pesky grenades <laughs> and then the tack mask there as well in case there's any flashbangs or stuns anything like that because they're super annoying in this game so you're definitely definitely going to want to rock the tack mask there so when you guys have got this max level in multiplayer this is the attachment streak you're going to want to be running if you do want to switch it up from the original one which we just spoke about before so we've got the muzzle here we've got the agency suppressor we've got the barrel we've got the reinforced heavy so keeping the same barrel as the previous version we've got the under barrel here we've got the field agent foregrip we've got the salvo 50 round fast magazine and then we've also got the radar stock on there this is a super laser beam class very quick moving very quick ads very snap onto targets laser beam them down and absolutely destroy which is insane this gun is a beast guys if you haven't tried it out make sure you try both of these classes out both the leveling class and when you get it maxed out try the second class here let me know how you get on with the class down below in the comments and if you are new to the channel please make sure you drop a subscribe down below as it really does help out the channel appreciate you watching the video make sure to drop a like if it did help you out and let me know how many kills you get with these classes down below in the comments take care and peace <laughs>